This is tough. This is very difficult. Very wow. difficult. I mean, they're all excellent. Highlights? Delicious. So for me, uh, alpha portala, I mean, lobster and caviar, I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, ethereal, beautiful, what right. you come to expect in first class, flawlessly executed, right. light, delicious. Mm -hmm. But then you go to the chef at Emirates with the Meze, and I was so impressed with the variety mm -hmm. that I had, and I loved everything. I did think that the uh, flaky tarts were a little, a little under seasoned and a little, I don't know, cold or doughy, but yeah, everything else was right. flawless, yeah. mm -hmm. flawless. And then the homey, comforting dish of business class, which I thought was really impressive. I love the flavors. All that delicious, dish. very difficult decision. Right, right. I, I, I agree with you. I think the, the I love the homey flavor. I'm a rustic cook. I love those homey flavors. I love that big, you know, boldness of those, of, the, of that combination, of, and especially the spices. And again, at 30,000 feet, as you said, Donatella, that's yes. something that's going to be incredible. You know, I thought the execution of Emirates was flawless, beautifully done. I agree with you, the pastries could have been a little bit more seasoned and a little more filling, I think, because I wanted yes. a little more filling was as the opposed filling, to pastry. Filling was right. lacking with the dough. Yeah, but there yeah. were options there. Mm -hmm. One of the no, things, absolutely. I thought that would be right. fun. You know, you're sitting on an airplane, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes you get one plate of food, right. and it's one note. Not that yeah. it's not good, right. but it's one thing. Right. On an airplane, the idea mm -hmm. that you can discover yeah. different things and get excited, and well, also there was that beautiful bread that. basket with different breads that, that we was, had that's too. That's also incredible. Yes. You know what I also think it's also interesting to, to, as an airline and as representing what your culture is and bringing that on board. Yes. I think it's important as well. Like, this is the food of our people and we're very proud of it. You know, I like that as well. Tough decision. Tough decision. But if you mm -hmm. had to, you have a favorite? <laughs> I think overall, I think what the chef at Emeritus did was the most difficult, complex, offered a lot of variety was true to the culture, so I think I would give it to him. Chef Bot at Emirates. Chef Bot at Emirates. And you? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to go with the hometown boy. I thought it, it reflects the, the elegance, uh, the sophistication, and what you'd expect really from an airline like Singapore. I liked, uh, I liked Alfred's dish. Chef Portale. Yeah, yes. Wow. I love You guys Alfred. are clearly in a strange position. I love yes. us too. No. I almost no. feel like personally I was gonna go for Qatar Airways. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, but we so have to crown it, somebody. Okay. We have to crown somebody. So right. let's 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 put all of that aside for now and say if you are a passenger flying first class anywhere in the world, what is the number one thing that you expect? Who delivers on it? Well, I'll just say that if I were to fly first class, what I would eat is Chef Portale's dish. That's the one I'd want. Yeah, that's the one I'd really want. That's too, the one I'd go back to. I love the variety, and don't don't get me wrong, it was beautiful. Emirates, they're both beautiful, but I just think that when I'm in first class and I'm thinking, okay, I'm lobster having Dom Perignon, I'm having crew, I want lobster and caviar. That's just gonna say, okay, I'm on the right. That's how I. This, I if this if it's it. a tie, <laughs> and I have to reflect on yeah. what I would want of the three dishes, mm -hmm. I think that all three were exceptional. But I would ask for the lobster yeah. dish if I had a choice. Right. Should we bring them back? I think you should bring them back. And, and let tough. them know that we loved all of them. Yes, yes we, of Hands course we down. will. I mean, it's, all right. yeah, it's, a tough, it's, it's a tough decision. It is know? a very it's tough like because me. no matter what, you know you're going to eat good mm -hmm. in all of these places. Right. All right, let's bring them back. Hello, right. welcome. Chefs. Thank you. Really Thank you for job, the fantastic really food. Great. Thank you. Really wonderful. Thank so you. So our, our, our guest chef judges wanted to give you some great feedback. Yes, none of us, we didn't agree. We all agreed that it was the very difficult decision because right. everything was exceptional. Uh, one of my favorites was your dish today because of the variety, the freshness, um, your commitment to your culture, it, and the homemade breads. We were so impressed, so it was one of my favorites Thanks, today. Right. Thank you. Chef Benmore, I, I have to say, it was, I love big, bold, rustic flavors. That's my style, and I would love eating that in the air, even business class, wherever you put me, I'd eat that anywhere. It was incredible flavors. That was one of my favorites, for sure. You put us all in a very yeah, tough spot tough here. And ultimately, there can only be one winner of the Real Biz <laughs> Top Chef Ooh. Around the World Global Airline Food Challenge. It's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. And it's you, Chef Portali. Oh. Singapore. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's an honor, especially yeah. in this company. These right. are right. incredible chefs. Very yeah. all, all three of you guys are yes. amazing. We're all amazing. It was really a tough decision. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be so thank hard you. today, Rebecca. Thank, thank you. you. And thank by you. the way, to anyone out there who's going to try and recreate this dish, good luck, first of all. <laughs> but the recipe that Chef Portali created for us today will be featured on abcnews.com plus 
Well, you can feel really good knowing that you've just won the Real Biz Challenge. And both of you as well, Emirates and Qatar Airways, can feel so good being here because we were blown away by all of your food today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And before we go, we want to hear from you. Which dish looked the best to you? Like us, tweet us at Rebecca Jarvis and comment below. And from our studios in New York City, I'm Rebecca Jarvis. Have a great day.